You're watching FIFA Predicts, predicting the big games in the Premier League via the medium of FIFA 19 computer versus computer. With me here as ever is former professional footballer turned current pundit Ian Feinvankles. We've talked about this. What's... What? I, that's my trademark salute. It's, it's from my time in the army. Like just... You I, were never in the... I was never in the army, but I wish I was. The North London derby, always a game where there is no love lost. No, and you no. can see that in the, in the handshakes at the start. Yes, Harry Kane may be a good player, but I'm not keen on that passive-aggressive muttering under his breath. He's muttering obscenities after every player yes. passes him. You can't do that. I think Pochettino is going to say to him, look, if you've got something to say to them, say it to their faces. Then the first goal scored by Tottenham before Arsenal even got up and brushed their teeth. Yeah. It's early. Lucas Moura, very much underestimated than team, isn't he? He is, yes. He's he's very underestimated because it's a team of creatives. <laughs> That's I mean, right. Son, he Son likes to create. Son, creative. Ericsson, Ericsson creative. creative. Dele Alli. creates YouTube videos about Fortnite. Yes, that's what he brings to the team. Lucas Moura underestimated. He slipped through that net. How would Moura make himself more noticeable? Luminous contact lenses. Something like that. Or maybe gelling his hair into a kind of downward arrow to just highlight who he is. Shocking keeping there from Leno. What was he doing? He jumped up in the air like he'd seen a mouse in a 1940s cartoon. I think he'd seen a mouse from a 1940s cartoon. Then for 2-0, a well-worked corner routine here from Spurs. Mm, mm. Moura comes up to Ericsson, says something, then runs away again. What does he say? Well, we've amplified the audio and we think he's saying tenderly I love you. And it wasn't the right moment. It was to the say wrong that, moment it? when Ericsson's about to take a corner. Out of viral, he got distracted. Yeah. He hits the crossbar. Davinson Sanchez comes in there and hits the rebound unnecessarily powerfully. I don't know why he put that much power in. What, what's this thing he can't hear? He cannot hear. No, that's actually a trademarked celebration because he's sponsored by a company that syringes people's ears. Davinson Syringes. Yeah. Speaking of branding, wonderful from Pochettino. He's got yes. the back of his hair shaped like the crest of a cockerel's head. Yes, that's very nice. It nearly went wrong when he asked the barber for that. The barber got confused and gave him a wobbly turkey chin. You don't want that. That's not what he wants. Not as much. He loves the club, doesn't he? He loves the club. 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 Then Arsenal came roaring back into the game like a lion who'd spent too much time in the toilet at a house party. That happened to you once, didn't it? Maitland Niles. He's had severe injury problems in his career. He has. I mean, it's not very well publicised, but he suffered from hearing the songs from the musical Cats eight hours a day, every almost every waking hour. That's all he could hear. For eight months, I believe. It was, uh, it was a terrible. Arsenal affliction. physios, though, they put him right with the diet of Les Miserables and The Greatest Showman. And now he's back. But Arsenal's fight back was short-lived. Yeah. Um, Harry Kane, a trademark goal from him. He's such a quality player. He headbutts Socrates' leg, and it goes in off Socrates' leg, but because of the Kane headbutt, it's not an own goal. It's not an own goal, is it? Because Incredible scenes. if you headbutt through skin, through bone, through sinew, sometimes you can see out the other side and put that goal in the yes. back of the net. Yes. David Luiz he's once described as a PlayStation footballer. Mm. Interesting to see that on the PlayStation he's not very good. No, and if you listen to the in-game commentary, they're saying, mm, he plays like a real David Luiz. And then Arsenal were back in touching distance with a goal as, as minute and intricate as the wiring inside a robot wasp. It's a trademark Arsenal goal. Tippity-tappity, intricate passing. And a trademark Arsenal result as well. Losing 2-3 at home through playing tippity-tappity at Arsenal football. It is the perfect Arsenal result. From there, Arsenal kept asking questions like a curious six-year-old, but like a curious six-year-old, their questions were easy to ignore and didn't make sense. How does mud know it's not sky? Arsenal, are they in a crisis? I'm not sure they are, but even if they are, what can they do about it? Well, they can't get Unai Emery out. No, they've used up all their boards with Wenger out. There's no space on those Could boards. Could you tipex the boards? Could you rewrite well, the over them? Bill it's going to get messy. For, it's going to be too messy. They may as well stick with him. So there we have it. 3-2. It finished. Now, competition time. Predict the score of the real game in the comments section below. Get it right and you'll win this prize. Win this shipping container full of discarded Wenger out signs. And congratulations to last week's winners. Your winners are these winners. All the people on the screen now won their very own opinion on VAR. Congratulations! That's it for this week's FIFA Predicts. See you next time. Just so you know, I was saluting throughout that. For another FIFA Predicts. Bye. Bye.